Hello friends, welcome back. This is the third session in the machine learning playlist. We need to understand what are all the tools and prerequisites that we need to learn before we go into deeper machine learning concepts. This session is going to talk about the tools, the installation and the things connected to it in depth. We'll have demos as well. You can follow the demos that I'm showing you right now and you can install it in your machine and it'll be easy. Machine learning is all about tools. It's all practical. The subject is no theory. So I wish you uh, have a playlist followed. Whatever I'm having, you need to follow this clearly by installing and also by trying in your PC. Only when you get your hands dirty, you can understand and you can grow in this subject. We will learn the tools and packages for the data science as well as AI. And that's what we call it as machine learning totally. And we'll learn about the tools and packages first, then we'll go about installing them. The most important packages that are going to use are all connected to Python. As I mentioned here in this slide, Python is going to be the heart, kidney and liver for everything. The complete data science AI machine learning is all about Python learning and using the existing Python libraries clearly. We are going to use NumPy, which is nothing but an array processing package and it's of a greater use in machine learning. SciPy is used for statistical operations and it has fundamental libraries for all scientific computing. It helps in optimization, linear algebra, statistics, and interpolation as well. Matplotlib is a library which is used for static, animated, and interactive visualizations. It is all about visualizing the data. So we need Matplotlib as well. Next is Pandas. Pandas is very powerful, flexible, and easy to use open source tool built on top of Python programming language. It's for data analysis and it's one of the tools that growing very fast than expected and it's very important to learn that too. We will use all these in the entire playlist and we will understand how exactly to get benefited out of this already available packages. And we will use Jupyter. I'm going to use Jupyter Notebook completely for all my sessions and training in this playlist. What is it? It's an IDE, I mean interactive development environment for all the coding, visualization, everything is going to be done through Jupyter only. We will learn that as well. Let's go to the installation right away. We will need an Anaconda distribution first to be installed. Anaconda is the most preferred and most sophisticated platform that can support everything and anything that we need with respect to the data science. It is most suitable for all the AI machine learning applications that we are going to run. And Anaconda is nothing but a package. It's, it's a complete distribution which has got support for Jupyter, Spider, NumPy, SciPy, Pandas, Das, anything and everything that you talk about in the data science field nowadays is all available in Anaconda. So it's better to install it first and then we will use this extensively in our complete learning that we are going to follow in the next couple of sessions. So how do we install it? Very simple. We need to go to anaconda.com slash distribution and understand it has got clear support for Linux, Windows, and Mac OS X. The point is, you can develop and test and also train with this Anaconda platform. And it's very easy. You need not go around searching for other platforms for separately testing it, training it, and then deploying it. It's all completely in one tool that we are going to do everything. And it's all Anaconda. It's one and all. So we need to go to Anaconda distribution. I mean, anaconda.com slash distribution website. And there, we will have the links for proceeding further. In that, if you see, you can have Python 3.7 version, Python 2.7 version. I'm going to use Python 3.7 for my complete learning. And in that, I have, I have chosen Windows. First of all, I have got a Windows machine right now. So I've chosen Windows. And in that, I have a 64-bit machine. So I need to download the 64-bit installer. If you still do not understand how to use it, I'm going to play the uh, demo right now, which I have uh, recorded while I have installed it in my machine so that you can easily understand it. It's, it's going to be easy. Only thing is you need to follow it carefully and it's easy for you. Now, you could see the way I am installing it. First, I had been to anaconda.com slash distribution and then I have selected Windows. I need Python 3.7, though Python 2.7 is there, I don't care about it. I have a 64-bit machine, so I need to download the 64-bit graphic installer. It's a 466 MB content. Once you download it, you are all set to go and you can install it with the traditional steps that I'm going to show you right now. 
it's easy to install and nothing is difficult over there so i'm installing it right now i need to agree and please make sure that the folder name that you are giving is proper the folder name should not have space in between here you can see i have made it as saigiri space sri ram so it gave a comment saying that it's a problem so what i did is i'm going to create a new folder without any gap without any space in between the names so i made it as anaconda a n e is the name of the folder now you can see the way i'm selecting it i have selected a n e that is the name of the folder that i am going to use for the complete installation i'm searching for varieties i have created in my c drive and the name of the folder is a n e it has got no space in between a n e is all continuous and that's all i need to now install and while installing make sure that the second option is click the first option you should not click it and it is not recommended don't give that second option is what you need to click and it will take about half a minute for you to completely install everything and this process is uh, self almost it will do everything on its own you need not do anything no no human intervention is required and once it is done you can see that it's pretty fast once it is done you'll get a message as completed and there you finish it once you finish it it's all over and the anaconda installation is complete right now for us now we cannot just stay with anaconda we need jupiter as i told you jupiter is the ide where we are going to type all our codes so how do we install it very simple we need to install it with the same kind of procedure that i'm going to show you right now and understand when i refer to the websites and when i refer to the contents they refer they told that you need to go to terminal uh, to uh, type the command and uh, the command that i typed here jupiter you can see that jupiter notebook space hyphen hyphen ip equal to star when i type this the terminal it didn't work because it is not to be typed in the command prompt it is to be typed in the anaconda prompt so when you go and search after installation you can find that anaconda prompt and in that you will have to type this jupiter notebook space hyphen hyphen ip and equal to star when you do that it gets installed and immediately it routes you to the web page and in that web page you can see jupiter is clearly displayed and that's it this is how you need to install jupiter so what is the next step to do it's again simple there is another thing that you need to remember in this entire stuff i can also copy this while we are installing while the installation is all done for the jupiter you will get a link for accessing the same web page the jupiter web page can be opened with the link that the installation guidelines itself is providing you and i am going to show you that right now we can even use this to open the same web page i have highlighted it in front of you and it works in the similar way so i am copying it right now and you could see that i just copy pasted it and immediately it opens me and it opens and it takes me to the jupiter page you can use any of these three and it's pretty simple and you can try it out on your machine okay sir what is the next step next step we need to understand how do we write our first program i am going to write a python program but how do we do it the moment you open the uh, jupiter page you have something called as new and upload let's go to new when you click new it immediately will uh, let you do this i am going to show you that new is clicked right now and in that you need to click python 3 and you will get a prompt where you can type your code i have typed a simple code where i have written a code to call couple of functions the first function is add and second function is sub when i add it should return a plus b when i uh, subtract it should return a minus b i am running it right now and that's it i have got the result this is how you can run your python code in jupiter platform and it's very easy to use only thing you need to do is you need to select this python 3 without fail when you are starting it now how do you name the uh, notebook i need to name it right so initially it will be no name you can see that here in this page when i ran it you could have observed it when i did a new and python 3 you could have seen that there is untitled to i did not name it so we need to name it right so how do you do it very simple that's also shown right now to you it's an easy procedure go there just double click on it you can type shriram_ml or something and that's the name of your notebook you can rename it easily you click on it again if you want to change it and that's the easiest way you can change it sachin_shriram is the name that i have given right now and that's it it's all done so now the installation is over where we have learned how to install the anaconda how to enable the jupiter how to run our code with python in jupiter all these are clearly learned in this session
try it out in your machine and if you have any questions suggestions inputs please go ahead and type in the comment sections and if you face any difficulties please reach me out i can help you out thank you very much for the support that you guys are giving if you like the content please subscribe you can also suggest it to your friends thank you very much